Hello, I'm Reverend Darrell Lewis, and I'm here with Wafa Abdeen to talk about your rights as immigrants. Many people are concerned about the anti-immigrant atmosphere and the current threat of deportations. We want you to know that everyone in the United States, including undocumented immigrants, have certain legal rights. We want you to know what to do in case ICE comes to your home. Wafa, what should an undocumented person do if ICE knocks on their door? There are a couple of things to remember. If an Immigration and Customs Enforcement or ICE officers comes to your home, you have the right to refuse to let them come into your home without a warrant. If they say they have a warrant, it is important to ask them to see it. Ask them to slide the warrant under the door. You need to make sure it's from a judge, not just an ICE warrant. You need to make sure your name is on it. If they don't have a warrant in your name, you have the right to refuse to let them in. And remember, if you have other people who are undocumented in your house, once you let them in, they can be in danger of also being detained. I understand you also have the right to remain silent. That's right. You have the right to not answer questions about your country of origin. You can say, I'm exercising my legal right to remain silent. Make sure you say it loudly so the officer can hear it through the door. I also understand people can have something in writing to give to the officer saying you are exercising your right to remain silent. Absolutely. All organizations that provide legal services for immigrants can give you a card saying, I am exercising my right to remain silent. What if you are asked to show other documents? If someone is a legal permanent resident, it is very important to show your green card so you don't end up in detention. But you do not need, uh, you do not have to show your immigration document. It is important to never give an officer a false document. This will subject you to criminal prosecution. Do people have a right to contact a lawyer? Yes, you need to tell the officer clearly you want to call a lawyer so that you have legal representation. In reality, these things happen very fast, so it's best to have a lawyer before something happens, right? That's right. If you already have an attorney, be sure to carry his or her contact information with you at all times. If you don't know an attorney, please do not go to a notary. We will show you some contact information at the end of this video. There is something else everyone needs to know. Do not sign any documents without seeking advice from an attorney, because you might have immigration relief that may help you stay in this country. And if you do sign any papers, please make sure you understand what you are signing. For more information, you can go to Catholic Charities website TMO website or attend a charla at Catholic Charities. You can also get immigration information from the Houston Legal Services Collaborative, which has a listing of immigration organizations across the Houston metro area. Finally, check the TMO website for more videos and know your rights workshops. In the Houston metro area, church leaders from many denominations continue to call for comprehensive immigration reform in order to address this issue in a sensible, holistic way. Thank you for watching this video and God be with you.